assalamu alaikum everybody uh, this is the second session lab session uh, of uh, assembly language and we'll be doing basic programming and applying it using different methods so let's briefly talk about this assembly language first it's uh, is the most basic language that is available for any processor and a programmer works only with the operations implemented directly on the processor assembly language lacks the conveniences such as variable functions which are available in high level languages but it is the most powerful computer programming language is available if you learn assembly language then it's give you the insight required to write effective code in high level languages and it is a time well spent for every serious programmer okay today uh, as we will be using uh, different type of assemblers uh, uh, we will be there are different type of assemblers but we are going to use this one the NASM netwide assembler and it is going to basically convert uh, the text files which we have produced into binary format and uh, for that for using and writing assembly language programs we need to understand the architecture uh, of your compute microprocessor first and for that We'll go step by step. Okay, the first thing is the registers, and registers are uh, basically storage locations, and they have some kind of uh, function or perform uh, operation which they are they perform on the data. Normally, the processor uh, operations involve processing of data and that data can be stored in the memory as well the RAM but the problem is that it slows down the process so what the design has done here is the designing of the system has done here that uh, you have uh, reg registers available inside the microprocessor which are uh, obviously working as same as memory locations but they can perform different functions also so let's see okay registers as I told you that are storage locations and uh, basically the registers store data elements for processing without having to access the memory and a limited number of registers are built into the processor chip that is that they are present inside the microprocessor chip and uh, there can be different size registers like we can have 32 bit size registers 16 bit registers 8 bit registers and they are grouped into three categories and the categories are journal register general purpose registers control registers and segment registers these are the three categories which you will find and in 8086 architecture we have around 14 registers uh, out of which four are general purpose registers and we are going to discuss today only on the general purpose registers in the later sessions we will be discuss the control registers and the segment registers Okay, so four data registers which are mainly used for arithmetical and logical and other operations and uh, their names are basically uh, if they are if you use them completely as 32 bit register then their names are a e a x extended a x extended b x extended c x and extended d x if you divide it into lower halves of four 16-bit register then they will be called ax bx cx and dx which means they are of 16 bits and if you further divide them then they can be further divided into this ah al for ah for a for higher h for higher and l for lower byte same as bh bl ch cl and dh and dl so these are the four registers which are divided into 
8 bit registers okay so these registers have some specific use also in the automatic operations like accumulator is the primary function of ax the accumulator is to perform the most automatic functions for example multiplication operation division addition subtraction and so on bx is known as base register cx is known as count register and dx is known as data register okay so, so as i said earlier that ax register is basically for the arithmetic operations and bx can be used as for indexing purposes uh, we'll discuss about this later on then we have cx which is used in looping and counting and in iterative operations and finally the data register the dx which is as they like as they want they can use it okay so we have around as i told you 14 registers in 8086 architecture but today we'll be using only four of them and the remaining will be discussed later on and the next step is to familiarize with the instructions which we are going to use today okay we are going to use uh, move instruction the data movement instruction uh, today in our program and uh, this pattern is move destination and source and destination and source can be uh, register any of the four registers which we have discussed earlier or it can be a memory location but today we are only going to use registers for our sample program okay okay finally the dos box i hope you have already watched the previous session video and uh, installed it in your system uh, anyway i'm going to just briefly tell you about the interface it's uh, this section is going to show you the current status or current values of the registers like on the left side you can see ax px cx and dx with some values and these are other registers which we will be discussing later on but this is the section of the screen which will give you results of your programs this section will show you the program and the highlighted one is the one current as the instruction which is going to be currently executed and uh, you will be using f2 key to execute a single instruction okay so this is the and at the time will go and we'll proceed will we can understand what the flags does and what other things are showing here okay so this is the interface now this is a sample program and I have used move instruction here and you can see AX BX CX DX all the four general purpose registers of the data registers of uh, being used in this program and let's see what happens first instruction is move ax comma zero two ax is the destination register and zero two is the data which you want to move into ax register so the direction of movement is from uh, right to left okay so what happened is that once you move when this instruction is executed if you check the contents you will find this in ax actually it is going to be like this because uh, it's a 16-bit register and uh, the remaining registers will have some kind of value some data but we don't know because this was the first instruction which we were executing in the second instruction we have moved to bx04 which means this will become will this will remain as it is and this will become 0004 and the remaining we don't know move 06 means this is going to be same this is going to remain as it is this will become 006 and this we don't know the next move dx08 so again 002 0004 0006 
and this will become 0008 so you notice that if you are not using that register particular register in your instruction like ax so ax will remain same okay the only effect the register will be the one which is used in the instruction right so this is how you load the data or move the data into different registers then we can see another instruction where I have used two registers and move AX and DX so AX and DX AX is the register because it's, it's on the left side and DX is on the right side so it will be the source so what is going to happen is oh, if you look at it you can see that it will become like 08 this will be 04 this will be 06 and what will happen to this this will remain as it is another instruction move bx and cx you can see here again oh, you can see that it is going to remain as it is this will become 0006 this will remain as it is and this will remain as it is so this is how it is going to be done so i want you to write this program on the notepad save it with the dot asm extension and then we'll be using the nasm uh, similar to make a comp file i'm going to show you to step by step okay uh, so you can see here on your screen that i have installed the dos box and mounted my uh, drive the virtual drive i have used b as my virtual drive and uh, my data is an assembly folder in e drive you can see it here so let's continue you can see that mount e b is the drive the virtual drive uh, and then e column backslash assembly is my folder and you can see the master drive b is mounted as local directory e assembly that means that when i access drive b i'm going to get this directory so i'm going to put this b colon and try to use the b drive so i'm going to type b colon and once i do that i will be able to access d drive see and then if i put dir there the directory this is going to show me all the files which are present in my drive and i will be using the afd for the debugger and other files which i have saved as a asm file you can see here asm files which will be used later on okay let's see the next step what we are going to okay all the instructions are same which i have explained earlier and the only thing which i have added is this thing that i have added this move ah comma 4ch 4ch is the service of interrupt 21h and uh, it is service to terminate programs and uh, normally the services are always placed in ah register before it can be executed but we are going to talk about it later on uh, right now what i want to show you is that once i have saved this program you can see it's here first dot asm file is present here and then the next step is to uh, assemble it okay for assembling uh, you are supposed to be in b drive that's you have to make sure then you can see that nasm first dot asm is my file name then dash o is for output file and first dot com will be my output file and this is what is the pattern in which we have to give the command the next step is so the pattern will be nasm first dot asm my file which i have created it's a text file then dash o o is for output file and output file name is first dot com you can it name it as you like but dot com is the extension which you need to have the next step will be to execute it and for that you can see that once enter is pressed
you can see here that it has been assembled the next step will be to load this file in the debugger in afd first.com and enter and you can see it's loaded onto the debugger okay so you can see here that your program is right here and it is uh, move ax002 move bx0004 move cx0006 008 is dx and move ax dx move bx cx then move ax 4 c and enter up 21 this was the complete program and the highlighted one instruction is the one which is going to be uh, executed when you press F2 key here and if you look at here then you can see AX has 0, 0, 0 contents okay so when we press F2 now this will be so once you press F2 see this highlighted bar have moved to the next instruction and if you look, go and check this AX register you will see that its contents now become 0, 0, 002 in the next you can see once again x if it is pressed f2 then you can see the content of bx becomes 4 and then f2 again the contents of cx becomes 0, 06 then again f2 content of dx becomes 0, 08 and the uh, highlighted bar is sliding down the next instruction is move ax and dx as i told you the content of dx will be overwritten on ax so let's execute this one and you can see now that it has been moved to ax and ax now becomes 08 and uh, if you move the next then you can see that it was bx cx so cx contents were moved to bx so this is how it is going to happen uh, internally then the next instruction is move ax 4c 4c as i told you is the instruction is the service for uh, the termination of a program which we are going to apply and once you do that you execute it and drop instruction you can see that you get the message program terminated so this is the steps the process which we have you have to apply to run your second lab uh, programs okay i hope there is no confusion now apply it and get ready for the next session thank you